In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best ways to make money from the new contract DLC in GTA Online. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, nice. Make sure you have played through several security jobs and completed the Dr. Dre story mode or else the next things I will tell you won't really make much sense as you'll have to stay in a public lobby and have massive cooldowns on your main missions. Of course, the first thing you need is an agency building. They start at just over $2 million but can rise up to around $5.5 million depending on additions. The one I personally think is the best location is this one at Hawick or Haywick or Hawick, however you pronounce it. You then want to start up an even invite only lobby or a friend lobby. This will keep those pesky griefers from getting in your way. Next up is to call your terabyte in. The Howick location has it spawned directly outside. The reason you want the terabyte here is because you can stock up on your oppressor mark II missiles without having to call it in in between missions and therefore bypassing any vehicle cooldown or you can return it to storage when not in use and pick it back up at the agency. An alternative is to park your oppressor in the agency and then you can leave with it from reception. This does mean you have to keep riding in the garage in order to stock up missiles though. Now there are three types of ways to make money. Security contracts, VIP contracts and payphone assassinations. To maximize the money you make you should be doing all of these. I suggest starting with the payphone assassinations as they have the longest cooldown time of 20 minutes. Yo what you need? You got it, partner. These are all pretty straightforward and should be done within about three and a half minutes each. Shit. Simply follow the instructions on screen and assassinate the target using the method suggested. This will net you a cool $85,000 for only a few minutes work. Failure to assassinate in the correct way will only pay $15,000. The most annoying thing about these missions is how long it takes for the game to tell you where to go and what to do. Start a mission too early and the game will bug out and it won't tell you the assassination criteria, leaving it all up to guesswork. Oh, and you can skip the payphone cutscene and dialogue by pressing X on PlayStation or whatever the skip button is on your platform. You'll also get some little awards put on your shelf in the office for each type of assassination. You then want to start up a security contract mission. You can select this option from your phone to start these, but Franklin will just send you a random one. The best thing to do is head back to your agency and pick the one that pays the most money. They vary depending on the mission, but start at just over $30,000 and can go up to $84,000, which is the highest I've seen so far. Some of these missions are awful and some are okay. The worst one is probably the Humane Labs van, where you get shot a ton and drive a ridiculously slow van back to your agency. If you do get this one, your best bet is to start a new lobby and try again. Another variety is the one with the car, where some genius decided it would be a great idea to have a load of gun-wielding enemies spawn right behind you when you activate the exit door and you're stuck in an animation getting shot to death. Awesome. Another terrible mission is the valuables. The controls are extremely clunky and slow, not ideal when all of the locations are in tight and confined spaces with loads of obstacles. <laughs> with the gang termination missions, you can either spam missiles at everyone from a distance take a tank and blow one up that way. Pretty straightforward. If you choose the rescue operation, take a heli with you from the reception's desk, that way you'll have a vehicle ready to extract the target. Up there! Look up there! 
Up there! Look up there! The cooldown on the security contracts is just five minutes. Don't forget to restock your oppressor missiles or any ammo, armor, or snacks in the meantime. You can also work your way through the Dr. Dre's stolen music story. These missions on their own pay out utter crap. But complete the finale and he'll deliver you a sweet $1 million. That's what I'm talking about, nigga! In total, these missions for your average player shouldn't take you any more than 90 minutes in total. If you'd like some tips on how to complete these missions faster, then check out my speedrun videos on my channel. Obviously, these missions in no way beat the king of money making, the Cape Rico heist. But for some of you, it might be a welcome alternative for something different to do. Hopefully, these missions will be on a double money event week at some point, making them a much more profitable method of earning money. Each payphone assassination would then be paying out $170,000, but we'll just have to wait and see if that happens. You definitely want to stay away from the Franklin and Lamar missions. These can take upwards of 18 minutes each to complete, and three quarters of that is cutscenes that you cannot skip. Apart from Lamar rapping, I'm an evil mother, fuck. If your mama come in, I'm a fuck around and touch you. The rest of the dialogue is unfunny, too long, and nonsensical. These missions pay out $50,000, but take far too long to start and complete. Ultimately, if you're planning on buying the agency just to earn money, look elsewhere. I was just trying to get paid. Despite what anyone else may tell you. Bitch! <laughs> ass! <laughs> motherfucker! So if you found this video useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. Hey, you did good. I'm Beats Down, and I'll see you in the next one.